All right, we have a little horse here named Annabelle. Annabelle is also a little western horse, I believe. And let's talk about her conformation a little bit and what, what we're going to do as far as evaluating what we see here. We watched her walk in. Annabelle's got a little bit of an issue. Uh, it's a little bit of a vet issue. She has a, a abscess in the right front foot that's busted out the coronary. It's already been evaluated by the veterinarian and the vet has uh, diagnosed it and recommended that we put a shoe on it to protect the area where the uh, sand pocket or rock or stone went through it. So we're just going to try to get something on here to protect that area. And this I think is probably where the issue is. Maybe the vet took a little pressure off of there. We're going to try to unload this completely. I'm not going to take a whole lot out here. This is a, a bit of an upright foot, which sometimes will have a, a thinner sole in this area. They have more heel. I'm defining the bars a little bit. All right, using this diamond loop knife, all I'm doing is cleaning it up. I'm not taking a lot out, just defining the bottom of that foot a little bit. That's all. Staying away from this. I'm going to take a little tiny cut on this just to open it up. I think this is going all the way up and exiting out the front of that lateral toe quarter. You can see it's inside the white line. This white line is stretched this much. Should be tight and I can feel a flare on this side of the foot. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a trim. There's not a lot of foot to come off of here. So that crack starts there. It's actually a two inch abscess that popped out the coronary and you can see this is laying over and where the abscess came up and popped out it's into sensitive tissue you can see blood but it's actually the coronary is aggravated swollen and inflamed when she's bearing weight it's sticking into this sectional hoof here so we're lucky we've got the ferry here to deal with that as this dries out probably in another week or two it'd be beneficial to take your loop knife and just take a little bit of this, just a tiny little piece of that off to keep this inflammation and swollen coronary band, not to get into sensitive tissue. This is gonna harden. This hoof underneath here is gonna harden now because it's getting no moisture from the coronary band. The coronary band is, is separated from the hoof. The coronary groove is separated from it, so it's getting no nutrients there. This is gonna dry up and actually reseed in and make this jab into it. So that's a pretty wide abscess to go from here all the way to there, two inches wide. An abscess back in September and we got a detachment that needs to be cleaned up. It's loose. So we need to take it off before she tears it off. And if there's anything good here, she'll break it. So we need to do it now instead of letting it come off naturally and see if we can get it patched back up and cleaned up. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to dress the foot up and let it dry for the patch as long as possible. shape of the coronary band to start with.
wet, wet, wet. So this is a problem when you got one like this. You can see it move where the dirt's at, which is painful as all get out. Don't cut rocks with your new knife. find the normal shape and then go back to the outside and clean up some more.
Put it in layers because this stuff goes through a heat. And when you're down to tissue like this, you don't want a massive amount of heat build up. So put a small amount on, let it set, and then add some more. do is we're going to do a pour in with Equipack for digital support. Same deal, Equipack, they're all in the same cartridge. But we're putting a pour in to help with digital support to keep the bottom of the foot protected and keep the wall as stable as possible. And I want it to the top of the shoe, so I'm not going to let the foot down until it sets. Can you see it on TV there? Mm -hmm. You see this ledge? Yes. But you need to take it back to the shoe at the bottom so you don't create a shear point.